All right, let's actually get started then. Hello, people. Whoever is here, I don't know. It's just Beat right now. Hey, Beat. How's it going, my man? We're playing Soul Calibur. Now, this is a technically emulated version. I do not own Soul Calibur 2 on the GameCube, so if there's ever any issues, well, hey. You know why. We're gonna be playing uh, Weapon Master. Weapon Master, I remember actually playing as a kid and enjoying it a lot. So, hey, it's your boy, Tanner. I almost put two A's instead of two N's. Hey, Zeph, what's up, my man? Register as Tanner. Heck yeah. Oh, this, uh, this FMV is not gonna play properly. Oh, this is. The opening wasn't. Oh, I haven't seen this in ages. How's uh, how's audio, by the way? Let's get some audio levels. Uh, Soul Edge. Some claim to be the ultimate weapon. Others for the sword as heroes. Uh, have you seen the Soul Edge? It does not. It does not look like a soul of heroes. Then again, Soul Calibur is also like actually super evil. When's Voldo? Audio is fine. Good. Uh, we we will see Voldo. Don't worry about that. Look at all these characters that are going to be in Soul Calibur 6. I'm honestly- Oh my god, there's Necrid. Todd McFarlane's baby. I'm like super sure we're going to get pretty much the whole Soul Calibur 2 roster in 6 back. Because they pretty much- maybe a bit loud? Okay, turn that down a bit. Um... Okay, I might be a little too quiet now. Because they, like, they said that they want Soul Cal it to be a mix of Soul Calibur 5 and, and 2, so... Okay, right, we got missions, acquiring weapons, you get money, you get bounties. Alright! We get to be picked from all these characters, including Raphael, Talim, Safitia, Kilik, Mitsurugi... Wait, that's Tala. Wait, no, this is someone else. I don't know your name. Nightmare. There's no, um... What's his face? Siegfried, because Siegfried is Nightmare in this one. Um, Voldo, Taki, um, Maxi, uh, I was gonna say Avdol, but it's something else. Ivy, Lonk, and Necrid. <laughs> we'll be Lonk just for now. We could be, they all have alternate outfits too, which we'll get to see. Uh, but yeah, let's be Link for now, because Link's super broken and uh, we'll be good. Chapter one. Regulus Proving Grounds. Also, I think Link has an actual story. Yeah. Uh, you stood before the entrance to the Proving Grounds in the land of Regulus. Famous for... This is so hard to read on my TV. Oh, man. Uh, you predicted that your journey would find the legendary ultimate sword, Soul Edge. It would be a difficult one. Therefore, uh, you find... Oh, my God. Okay, this is not Link's actual story. Link actually has a story, if I'm pretty sure, though. All right. We're at the Proving Ground. Explanation. Um, training, Edgar, start with the basics, wait for his words, if this is a training one. Astaroth, yes. In this game, Nightmares plays like Siegfried does. Mitsurugi. Yep. Okay, so I love uh, the, the pre-battle screen, press a button and you get a different screen. It's great. Ones. They unleash their fury. So Calibur 6 isn't going to be on the dead. No, uh, or isn't going to be on the switch. I'm actually going to think that they're going to wait for a Nintendo Direct to do it. So A is horizontal. Yep. Ah, GameCube is such a weird controller for fighting games. Fight. Horizontal use yes, uh, B to perform vertical, which is actually the Y button. A uh, K for kick. That's a kick. That's my kick button. There you go. See, so yeah, it's kind of rock paper scissors G for guard. It's uh, it's pretty. Pretty simple rock, paper, scissors combat. No, I think they're gonna do Soul Calibur 6 on a Nintendo Direct, because I feel like um I feel like literally it would ruin the hype for every other console if they showed a trailer with Link and stuff. Guard impact! Okay, so Okay, so basically it's you can repel Okay, so this is no longer a meter move. Uh, you can repel or parry by pressing G with the um left or right. Okay. There we go, yeah, so that's, it's, it's a parry, pretty much. Um, if you kick the bomb, then it will be a kick. That is true. Soul charge, press all them. How do you do that on the GameCube? 
Oh, that's not too bad. I increase his strength. I'm a big fan of it. Show sure you can use it. Yep. There you go. We got, uh... Look at him go. I love that they reused all the, um... Extra practice mode. Nice. Basically, the extra modes let you try out different weapons. Um... I love how they just reused all of his sound clips. The new stage, Bulwark Ruins, has appeared. Well, let's go to the Bulwark Ruins. Um... Oh my god, look at this Dungeons and Dragons quest. Defeat all the enemies, that's all you have to say. Literally. Versus Keelik. Yeah, so you press a button on this screen, and you'll say a random thing. No, One of them just being... DRAGON! Entangled. Also, I totally called the guy who isn't Keelik, Keelik. Is there no other that's Keelik. Look at him! Battle being an actual Fight. character, not a weapon master. <laughs> Boomerang. You can also use um an arrow with Link, which is super broken. Like, like he's the only character with ranged attacks. Come on, come on, man. There we go. Uh, this is the first uh, first game I ever had. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, no, my friends, uh, my friend and I bought this when we found it at the, um, at the Walmart cheap section. And we really wanted it, because A, Link, B, we saw, um, Ivy and Tacky. Yeah, and Link kind of has, um, has the, the singer in this, which is, yeah, that's, that's pretty dope. Oh, come on, I should have been able to guard impact here. Yes! I love that. What a good attack. Well, Exposed Soul Calibur is 4 and 5, and I can't say I'm a gigantic fan. Um, 4 and 5 are... I'm not going to say step... Well, they're both kind of step downs in one way or the other. 2 is where the gameplay was the best, bar none. It's fast, it's fun. Um, a lot of people played 4 because Darth Vader and Yoda and Starkiller were in it. But the actual gameplay for that one wasn't that good, in my opinion. I didn't like it. Also, that game has weird, um, guest characters. Like, a, char a bunch of anime characters were in it also. Uh, not a lot of people know. Like, um, a, a, a straight-up canon character from, uh, Sergeant Frog is in that one. It's a bit weird. Um, then there's, yeah, Five has a bunch of Poochies, and no one likes Poochies. Um, and also a lot of meter, so like to do stuff like the guard impact, like the parry that they showed us earlier, you need meter to do, which isn't really good. But uh, so yeah, six is pretty much looking to be the graphics of six or five with the gameplay of two, which is hey, perfect. Um, who do I want to guest in six? I really want to be in. I feel like that's a character that A needs some sort of um some sort of like recognition in a fighting game. And I mean we didn't get Tekken, but we can get that. Um and yeah, Ezio was in uh six or five, which I forget about. So yeah, like look look at this, look at this. It's not the best, though. I actually liked playing Raphael in, I think, uh, 5. Once you know the, 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 uh, parrying there, it's a lot more fun. New features been unlocked. Cool. I want to knock, but he's in Tekken. Yeah. Um, out of all the animes they chose, like, well, there was a bunch more characters from anime, but the only, the only one I know is, um... From Sergeant Frog. So let me actually take a look here. Because the rest of them, I like never heard of who they were at the time other than Sergeant Frog. But now being a super cool guy. Um, let's go Soul Calibur for guest characters. Now I might know them actually. At the time, I had no idea. Um, let's see here. Wait, oh, Cosmos was in three. As a character you could make in the creator. I forgot about that. Oh, and Lloyd Irving was in the Wii one, right. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to remember who they were. Um, hmm. 
new characters, guest characters, bonus characters. Um, okay, so there was Angle Fear, which was a Sergeant Frog character. Um, there was Ashalot, who was um, the creator of... Who was O Great? I've never heard of O Great. Uh, oh, the, he was the guy who made Air Ride. So the guy who made Air Ride had a character uh, put into it. There was... I'm looking here. There was... Oh, God. Wikipedia on the phone. There was uh, Kami Kuromusi, who is designed... Uses Nightmare's move set and was designed by the guy who made... He's a character designer for Sunrise, which is, I think, an anime company. There was a uh, Charade Z, create using Amy's move set, uh, and was created by the guy who did. He was a Gundam designer, as well as a uh, Pat Labor. And then there was Shura, who used Cervantes' move set, and was designed by a creator of Gantz. So yes, there are there are a number of anime characters. But yeah, um I feel like Oh Joker would be great actually as a PS4 character. That'd be really cool. Oh wait, oh so there's two Gundam people, right. Um that would be great. Joker would be super fun. I think someone made Joker in um Tekken and it looks really good. Land 20 hits on the enemy and survive the round. I can do that. There's your boy, or your man. He's an old man. He's terrifying. Voldo's terrifying. We have to land 20 hits and then survive. I remember this one giving me a lot of trouble as a kid. So I had no idea how to guard. I would just mash buttons. Fight! Come on. Come on. I cannot believe that that works. Okay. Yep, that's tough landing 20 hits there. Okay, let's try that again. This time I'm just gonna press buttons again. I'm just gonna do the down hit. Versus Voldo. Me too, Link. Me too. What? Final battle. Fight! Stop. Oh, that might work. Come on. Okay, is there a retry? There's no retry. Oh my god. Yeah, I remember this giving me so much trouble as a kid. He does sound like a camel. He's an old man. Valdo has to be brought back for six. No, I, well, I feel, number one, we are getting the entire Soul Calibur 1 roster for sure. But I feel like we'll get some, some other characters who are, like, older and alive at the time. Because it just makes sense, you know? Come on, man. Come on, stop. How come landing 20 hits is so tough? Actually, I know exactly why. It's because I am not... I classed up, though. I'm now an Iron Neophyte. So that's good. Let's try that one more time. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm just trying to think what other guest characters would be fun. I mean, yeah, I feel like I feel like we will get um, Link back if, if there is a Switch version, and then a, uh, a uh, Fire Emblem character. Stop, sir! Does that count for multiple hits? That counts as wow. That sucks. Then. Valdo's Valdo is weird. His moonwalk game is pretty lit. Um, there's not gonna be an Xbox character. I'm calling it now. Is it? Wait, is it even? It's come. Oh, hey, it's his alt costume. It's coming out for Xbox, right? And like, I. 
I feel like they just aren't gonna release a, uh, a character for the Xbox version. Or if they are, it's gonna be like Marcus Phoenix or something. Oh! So close! No! No, so close! Okay, actually, Jago would be super cool. Jago, I'd be down with. Uh, in fact, that would almost make me want to go out and buy an X phone. What am I saying? Of course I won't. Um, Zoro from One Piece would be interesting. I feel like it's pretty much exclusively gonna be a a uh, a video game character. Then again, we had Spawn in the uh, Xbox version of Two. We also have Necrid here, who is a guest character technically. Oh god, I'm gonna be here forever, aren't I? I'm gonna be here forever. Maybe I need to change characters to one who does lots of hits. What's a character who does many hits? Let me see here. World map. Uh, I think if I start, character select. Who can do multiple hits very quickly? Probably Ivy. Close, okay, let's go to Thubin again. Let's try this one. Uh, man, just using the chainsaw function on the Lancer gun would be funny for this game. Is that a... Is that a Marcus Phoenix thing? Come on. No, don't grab! Grabs take too long! Why is this mission so ridiculously difficult? Also, yeah, no, um, I gotta say, again, one of the reasons we bought this game, because as a kid, uh, we saw Ivy in it, and I became a man that day. So let's just try every character until we get it. Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War. Yep, try, uh, Young Sung. I don't know who that is, but I'll, I'll, I'll give him a try. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, yes. Get out of here. Boom. Actually, no. I remember. The way I beat it as a kid, I got him to ring out. And that worked. I remember now. There we go. So, uh, yeah, let's go back to Link, because he do- No, let's be Necrid. Necrid's never coming back. So you can actually buy new weapons for them, which is cool. Necrid is one of the most- Tennis stuff he's already dead. Um, okay, I just saw you say the word Bayonet. Bayonetta. Straight up. Imagine Bayonetta in Soul Calibur. That'd be super hype. Um... Strong gusts constantly push you and prevent you from falling off the edge. Defeat the enemy under this condition, so don't get a ring out. Got it. Uh, Sparta? Actually, I think a lot of people want Dante in as a guest character, and I'd be down for that. So yeah, Necrid is a guest character designed by Todd McFarlane, creator of Spawn, who's in every version. And, um... He's, uh, he's actually has kind of a cool gimmick where he has, like, a soul. I thought it said it would prevent me from falling off. Okay. Um, but uh, he has, like, a soul orb on his chest. Wait. Push you and prevent you from stopping at- Oh, it prevent you from stopping at the edge. Okay. Um... I just feel Sparta fits more, looking at the Victorian the look. Oh, I could see that. But then again, at the same time, you have Darth Vader. It literally does not matter. Yeah, I did it. Look at him. Yeah, Necrid's weird. I like him, though. Uh, new stage, Minkar Mine has been added. Oh, this is a dungeon, right? And you have to stick with the character you're given. Let's be Mitsurugi for a bit. Not only is he, like, super cool, but he's confirmed back, so it'd be good practice. 
So let's go to the shop here, so you can buy weapons, as you can see here. New costume for Taki. Let's see here. Oh, dude, wait, no, I gotta buy some, like, the Arma series for Link. So you can buy weapons, and, like, for Link, every weapon is super cool. So I definitely want to get those. Forgot how awesome his, his weapons are. So we're gonna go, uh, Link. Weapon select, so we get the armor series. Uh, offensive increases with um, SC, but lacks defense. Yeah, let's try that. So that's like a dungeon, and you have to crawl through each floor, and it's kind of a cool system. I remember this. Um, navigate through the enemy infested dungeon, defeat the boss. As my, I, when I first saw that, I really okay, yeah, as any single Kubaster boss for character would be, would, be, would be great. Um, not only are there like generic mooks that you fight, which are kind of cool. But, um, as you, as you play, you, like, go through and fight different enemies, and I really wanted it to be one that you actually just can walk around in, but, sadly, like, this is still a lot of fun. In my opinion, this is, you know, like, a really good, um, whoop, that's a grab. That did a lot of damage. It's a really good single-player mode. I know a lot of people like threes, but, A, I never played three because I don't have a, um, Oh no, stop! Stop! Um, I, I never played 3 because I didn't have a PlayStation, but like, I've heard that 3 is not the best, so... I've heard some people like 3. 3 had a prototype character creation system, which was interesting, and you could make Cosmos in it by using all the, the parts for her, which was kind of cool, but uh... You know what? Instead of Link, uh, this oh people are gonna hate me for this, but instead of Link or a Soul ca or Fire Emblem character for the Nintendo version, I'd love to see Rex from um, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I mean, I've been playing it recently, so it is kind of like, you know, just because I am, it's kind of topical. But like, I think he would rock. What was that sound? Oh man, maybe having defense is not good. What is a neophyte? Eh, uh, don't ask me. Toe ball number two? Oh, forgot about the toe ball games. Yuri Lowen, Thal, or Lowell, right. Um, well, um, Lloyd was in the Wii Soul Calibur game, which was like an adventure game and not, not a fighter. It was a, kind of, it was a really bad one, but... That should focus on fighting and not talking, though. Yeah, basically, it's like, if they're sidestepping, you want to use horizontal. If they're trying to attack, you, you know, a vertical or your, your strong ones. But you want to kick them to, like, do a quicker attack. That's the basic rock, paper, scissors. Oh, and, and throws, of course. There you go. Yeah, Lloyd was in one. Um, but I feel like if there's going to be a guest character... It would, you, I wouldn't want it to be from the same company. Okay, beat, you say that. They added in, in, um, Soul Calibur 5, you could, uh, in your custom character creation, you could use the soul of Jin, and the soul of Jin Fate is literally using Jin's moveset from Tekken in Soul Calibur, and it's actually super fun. But because it's only available on custom movesets, you can't actually... So, like, you want me to knock you out? play it in tournaments, Final which sucks, battle. but... Fight. Stop, sir. Taki! Maxi! Sorry. There we go, got him. Favorite guest character from any fighting game? That's tough. From e Devil Jin. Well, it's... No, but it's, isn't it just Jin, but he uses Devil Jin moves? Actually, I could be super wrong. Um, I'm trying to remember now. Uh, oh, no, it was Devil Jin, right. So my favorite... Yoshimitsu. I forgot Yoshimitsu's in this game. Um, oh, that's... The so that's face a gruesome yeah, blast I'm gonna to say, for the like, a lot sword. of the characters in Smash are pretty big, but Smash is not a fighting game, so... I'm gonna have to Final think about that. Fight. Oh, got it! 
Wow, okay. Ninja, okay, yeah, Ninja Turtles and, well, no, I'm gonna say I need to wait to see how the Ninja Turtles and Injustice are put in. If it is one generic turtle which you have to customize to be the other Ninja Turtles, that's gonna suck. If it's, um, all the Ninja Turtles is one character with strikers, that's pretty good. Um, I I'd be down for that. Watched over by the oh, guest ones. characters in fighting games. You're gonna have to give me some examples in the chat because honestly, uh, because I'm kind of playing, thinking about that is gonna be a bit difficult. Wow, the damage she does to me, that was destruction. Hmm, guest characters. Because the problem is a lot of the fighting games I think of are already crossover fighters. Let's see. Fate conspired to a final battle. Fight. What? Okay, Daidoji and Tekken would be pretty great. Rash and Killer- well, I actually, honestly, more than Rash, I think Arbiter in Killer Instinct is awesome. I was a big Halo 2 fan back in the day. I know, me? Crazy? But, uh, yeah, no. I feel like Daidoji is way too niche of a character, though. Whoa, okay, life drain. Yoshimitsu, how do you have that? Also, yeah, Yoshimitsu is technically a guest character in that he's like the grandpa of Tekken's uh, great, great million year old grandpa uh, from the Tekken in. or the, the, the Yoshimitsu in Tekken, so that's kind of crazy. There is, there is the Spartan in Dead or Alive. There's actually a lot of, um, in. because Dead or Alive. The newer one has all the uh, Virtual Fighter characters. Yoshimitsu is now selectable. Good, I was wondering where he was on that character select screen. Tekken 3 Yoshi is best Yoshi. No, design-wise, I agree with you. I like I like that one. Virtual, yeah, Virtual Fighter characters are in there. Not Virtual Fighters, Virtua Fighter. Is there a shop here that I can buy some stuff on? What's Link have here? On this one, Link has... Armor set. No. Well, let's see here. Shop. What's, what, do we, what do you have on this one? The Razor Sword. And so there's, there's uh, the, the Razor Sword from Mahora's Mask. This one has... Because each, each country has its own shop. The Cane of... Oh, this is such a reference. People don't even know what the Cane of Burna is. There's some interesting ones you can get later. Oh, we get the Megaton Hammer! Yes! That looks so dope. Jason, Mortal Kombat X. Yeah, that's... See, I think I think the horror characters are really good. Um, those ones I'm down with. So what do these do? Good offset, but short reach and a penetrable guard. Good offensive, uh, strong strikes, but short reach. Recovers health and increases defense with soul charge. Nice. Let's use that. Let's head to Bents to Snatch. Think we'll ever be a new Virtua Fighter? <laughs> oh, that's not gonna happen. And story. Carnival! Oh, this stage is awesome. But you cannot hold your footing. Defeat the enemy with a ring out. Okay. Versus Link charade. in this game is really good. Oh, Charade, right. He's kind of the big baddie. The fighters face a No! Quest charade isn't. It's the other version of him. It's Inferno. Charade is the normal version. He's just the, we'll pick a random move set and fight him. Fight. Can I stab? I can stab with the cane of Brina. Oh, 
How does oh, I right? I have to I have to get him with right. I have to get him with the thing. Akuma, Geese, and, and um, Noctis are great. Those are really good. Asura should be in MVCI. I think he's gonna be in it. Give give it time. That leak, I believe. I truly do. Not a fun game, but Ryu and Oni and Asura's Wrath. That was great. That was really good. I want Ryu in an action game. Like, not a fighting game. I want either a... Like, some type of just straight up... It's, you know, uh, Ryu in... Let's see here. What if I pull him back? Can I get him? There we go. Ah, perfect. Um... Who's gonna show up in uh, SMT5? Bayo or Neo? Oh, oh no, that's easy. The one who's gonna show up in SMT5 is gonna be Joker. Street Fighter Cross Tekken is. No, 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 no. I like Street Fighter Cross Tekken's guest characters. Cole from Infinis, Toro, what's his face, Fat Pac Man, and. Um, or Fat Mega Man and Pac Man were awesome. I'm super down for that. A new final fight with Ryu? Yeah, like a 3D final fight? Yeah, that'd be down. Uh, throws are more offensive. Of course they are. Ryu and Godhand 2 go away. No, Cole is fun! I hate this look for Raphael. It's so bad. Oh, hey, it's playing the Zelda theme. I forgot there's a remix of it. I wonder if it's Tekken and, and uh, or if, if Heihachi and, uh, what's-his-face, spawn get themes. Get out of here. That's really not that much more offensive. No, I was trying to give him a throw. Cole was cool. I can't hate Cole in it. It's because it's such a weird one, and you know Sony paid for it. I liked it. I'm, I'm down for more weird company-driven ones. Like, that's fine. Okay, why am I sucking at this? Uh, should make up a five gets Dante? Oh, wait, wait, that Dante. Ah, whatever. That's so tough. The question of my favorite... I think crossover characters in... Crossover characters in fighting games in general are the best things ever. Like, I can't... I can't hate that concept, you know? This- this costume for Raphael is much better. Look at him spank him! Didn't know that hit low. Come on. No! That time limit is so short. Joker in uh, SMT5 would uh, will be the only Persona on Switch. Most likely get unless Q2 on Switch. No, there's gonna be be Persona on Switch one day. I'm sure about it. I guess Ryu in Second Impact. Wait, wasn't Ryu in in Soul Calibur 3 though? Like the original? Guess characters are fine when it's just one or two. No, no, no. Guess characters are fine when they take up half the roster. I'd be totally fine with just a million and five guest characters in every fighting game. Shout out to people who get like super angry that guest characters exist. Because they're like super wrong. They're like, oh, but my world building. It's like, shut up. You get to see Akuma fight Noctis in Tekken. Hey, we beat him. Crossover game's death, uh, it might be nothing but fan service, I don't care, fan service, crossovers are awesome, yeah. Yeah, people who hate guest characters are, like, super lame. Hey, we got a new stage down here. Instednar. Subchapter, Sacred Treasure. Remember when KOF was just a crossover? Yeah, that's right, that's weird. 
Most people don't even know the original games, though. Oh, exhibition theaters? What do those do? Weapon demonstrations. Oh, cool. That's kind of neat. Let's try the Megaton Hammer. Navigate through the Booba Trap Filled Dungeon to beat boss. We'll do. King of Fighters is weird in general, though. Because, like, you got... Actually... Hmm. The fighters face a gruesome I don't know. Final Berserker! Fight. No, that just reminds me. Oh, wow. We need guts in Soul Calibur. Not only would he fit, he would have like a fast version of like um the, the Siegfried Nightmare moveset, but he also has his cannon, he has his crossbow, he has the berserker armor no. as a super. Like, Final come on. Battle. Fight. This is getting a little ridiculous. But the Persona comic, I'm just not a fan of Persona on Nintendo besides I think Persona is a Sony product and Nintendo can have SMT. Yeah, but here's the thing. That's just in your mind. They'll just do whatever the money goes to. They'll just literally be like, hey, let's put, you know... Fight. I'm fully expecting, um, a... Calm down, sir. Sir, calm down. I fully expect, uh, like, Persona 1 and 2 to appear in a collection on the Switch. Because they, they put them out on the, um... They put them out on the, the, the PS Vita and PSP. So, like, considering that is a dead idea now, the portable option to re-release it is, um is just putting it onto a Switch. Yeah, there we go. Indiana Jones? No. No, please, no. I actually really disliked Darth Vader and Yoda. Mostly because, like, like... The, the aesthetic Caesar. of Soul Calibur Final 4 battle. in general, Fight. I actually super hate. Everything about how it looks is bad. And they definitely contribute to it. Whoa, hey, that... Get him off. Yes! Uh, funny fighting game guest character, Adam from Real Steel. I have not watched that. Uh, wait, I think that reminds me. I think there was talk of a Gundam being put in Soul Calibur at one point. Like a, a human-sized Gundam. That'd be cool. I think Guts would fit more in Mortal Kombat. No, no, we don't talk about that that bad game series here. I don't like Mortal Kombat. I don't like NetherRealm Studios. That was a thing I should have actually tried to dodge. I think Mortal Kombat should die. And I think, uh, best... Okay, gone... Gone is something special. Gone... A lot of people don't even know Gone is a crossover character, though. Mortal Kombat is part of my childhood. Yeah, you know what was part of my childhood? Getting beat! You don't see me get all happy about that. I just realized your name is Beat, so that kind of loses about it. Ow. Uh, Guts would fit with Soul Calibur. Like, look at that man. Yeah, right? I think if it's a game more where killing people is okay. You know what? I guess that makes sense. Yeah. But then again, you have like, the like, fate. like Bayonetta and Smash Bros, right? Thought Gone was a Digimon. Yo, straight up. We're talking ba Bandai Namco characters. There's a billion and five Digimon who'd be super hype in one of these games. Put in Bezelmon. Put in, um... Put in Omnimon! Yo! Yo, I'd be so down for Omnimon! Uh, I, uh, uh, real talk. Digimon character for Soul Calibur. That would drive me nuts. That'd be so good. Fight! Get him out, get him out! Yeah! Me for 
for Soul Calibur. No. Alright, I guess... Yes, yeah, Supreme Cannon! Wouldn't that be so cool? You're right about that, but consider the aesthetic. Again, let me remind you. Darth Vader and Yoda. Like, I, I can firmly say... And plus, there are Digimon that would fit the aesthetic. Or they could give, like, an ancient-looking version of them, and then have an alt bird costume being the, um, the, the classic sort of look. The digital world does exist in Soul Calibur. So oh my god, you're super right. Soul Calibur is in Tekken's past, and Lily is a Digimon tamer. You are abs- You're actually so right. That's- That- it's easy to forget that. It's easy to forget that Digimon and Pokemon just happen to exist in the world of, uh, oh my, I'm healing here. Yeah, it is easy to forget that Digimon and Pokemon are both canon to, to, to Tekken. Like, actually, canonically. Have you ever stabbed the dude with a hammer? Oh, Gallantmon would be good too, yeah. Especially if, if, if for the Soul Charge you went into Crimson mode. And you got Granny. God, I can't wait for Digimon Story Hacker's Memory to come out. Or Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory. I am 100% let's playing that. In fact, I already got the art ready. Final battle. Fight. Ow. Yeah, I'm a tape Berserker Coon. Yeah, you know what? Let's just have... No, let's... You know what? Instead of Domon in a, 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 a Gundam, let's just put on... Put in Domon and just have him... Just have him shining finger things. I, Fate I should think about my words battle. before I say them. <laughs> so if you tell someone you're gonna shining finger... Uh, if you say, I'm gonna shining finger you, that might have a, a bit of a negative connotation. That was a mistake. Domon literally kicked a building into the air. Digimon is for dorks. Get out of here. Get out. Get out. I looked at a list of all the characters in Hackers, the, all the new Digimon in Hackers memory, and there's a uh, uh, picture stream. Yeah, of course, I've been watching um, the, 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 the Digimon marathon. It's great. Um, I've been watching the, I mean, I was looking, I looked at the list of um, Digimon in, in Hackers memory that got added. And there's some that I'm just like, oh, that's an interesting choice, or that's a little weird. And then there's some that I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe it. There's some that are real obscure. I didn't need to choose that mission. Though it is kind of sad that they actually, they're originally going to give you Sistermon, Noir, and Blanc, which were like a white nun and a black nun as, as uh, pre-order characters. But they actually had to change them because they're like, hey, maybe, whoops, that went to the main menu. Because they're like, hey, maybe having, um, not, wait, oh god, it's gonna, please don't tell me, I'm gonna have to redo the dungeon. Oh god, did I actually screw up? I super screwed up. Well, that sucks. Um, yeah, it was like, um, they were like, we probably will get in trouble if we have you fighting real nuns. So they changed them to be less nun looking. That kind of sucks, but, oh well. Now they're now they're Fate CL and uh, like they're like blue and pink, and they look more like people cosplaying bunnies. Well, yeah, yeah, Bezelmon, I or it's Belzimon, because there's different names for English and Japanese and everything. But but you know the dude, we know who I'm talking about. Uh, I want him in for sure. He's so cool. One of my favorite Digimon's by far. Uh, do they actually have Frontiers Digimon? Um, I think... Okay, they don't have them all, but they have, like, like I don't think a Goonimon is in. But they do have, I think, Burning Greymon, and then, um, yeah, Kaiser Greymon. Like, I don't think a Goonimon is in, though. Which is weird, because I think a Goonimon was in, um... I think a Goonimon was in, um... The, the, uh, Next Order. No, they both changed. Well, uh, 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 it is still, it is still Blanc, but Blanc got a slight redesign. Yeah, Noir was changed pretty much fully, but, uh, it is still Blanc, but they got a slight one. They added a Goonimon and Lobomon. Okay, so yeah, then they are in. 
That's cool. I'm happy. Because I remember being originally like, I don't know if I like, I, I don't know if I like Frontier. Because I watched it, I was only, okay, so like, I watched every episode of the original Digimon, and then every episode of Digimon 02, and ev pretty much every episode of Digimon Tamers. And then Frontier came on, and I was like, I don't know. I didn't get a chance to see it as much, because it just didn't air as much, so I didn't know if I loved it. But then, uh, I got to, uh, I'm watching it in the marathon, and I'm like, I'm remembering the, 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 the memories of me watching it, and I'm like, no, I like it. Also, the fact that I, uh, the only Digivice that I had an extended amount of time to play with was the Tamer's Digivice. All my friends at school had it, and I remember that one had the feature where you could scan Digicode, and you would get, well, you could either input the codes on the cards to get stuff, or you could, um... Yeah, the English OP is so good. Um, you could either scan the cards or there was a function to scan Digicode that would appear in the show. And it would, like, scan it. And that's kind of cool and stuff. But I remember my friends and I discovered that you don't actually have to uh, scan the code itself. You could scan random TV show footage and it would give you stuff. And one of my friends literally was scanned like a soap opera and got like a god tier, like, Digimon transformation. And I'm like, what the heck? Tamers was super grimdark. Tamers is Evangelion for kids. It is awesome. Ah, I bit my cheek. No, Tamers is awesome. I would, I, out of all the seasons, you don't need to watch one and two, watch Tamers. Because it is, it is actually a brutal deconstruction of the, um like, uh, monster collecting genre. It had the Matica writer on it, like, need I say more? I'm just gonna get him to the edge and pull him off. Right? Get him off. Nope. Seeing Link use the hammer like a sword is hilarious. Yeah, it's great. I love it. Um, the best weapon for him, though, is there's one... I think it's the Great Fairy Sword, and it increases his reach super far. No, the Tamer's OP is wonderful. I mean, Frontier OP is wonderful. It's like, it's actually so good. I was... I'm like, I can't believe it's so good. I remember hearing it uh, back in high school again for the first time. Like, And I'm like, this is better than it deserves to be. We need more Uru Butcher writers kid shows. No, we do, because it's so good. And I remember as a kid, I was like, I, I don't know if I remember understanding it fully. And I remember it being pretty creepy, but I remember loving it. So I'm like, this ain't your kid show, you know? Some of the depictions of like death and like mutation in that are freaky. I remember there's the one episode where um, uh, Bieselmon absorbs the data from, I think it was Daumon and, um, uh, Magnum, uh, Terriermon's evolution, I forget. Um, and, like, you see him, like, not able to contain the power, and he has, like, like, he gets parts of their body, like, mutating out of them. And it's super creepy! I'm like, I can't believe that they could show this on, and this was the dub version. I checked. My, actually, my sister and I watched. Uh, we marathoned it because she never watched it. Uh, she watched. She watched a bit of the original Digimon, but she never watched uh, Tamers. And so I watched it with her, and she's like, "This is legitimately a little scary." And I'm like, "Yeah, it is. It has some stuff in it." The whole ending is like not the ending, but like the well, the ending is sad, but the whole um. Oh, what's, what, what am I even trying to say? Like, the whole second arc of the... Sh the second half of the show is so... You feel uncom uncomfortable with, like, the fact that it is so... despair -ridden. There's things where you're like, you're, no one's gonna win in this situation at all. Oh, so good. New costume for Nightmare. That's expensive. Uh, let's see here. Get a new new sword for someone who, who's cool. Ah, uh, the Basilard sounds cool. Oh, that'd be weird looking on Mitsurugi. What's Glam look like? Okay, that is just like an old school sword for a nightmare. Got it. Requiem. 
The Maggie Dramon scene. Yes, that is just looks like Guts' sword. Nice. In fact, why don't we just play as Guts? Good at defense and strong against impact, but his weak single strikes. That's fine. Um, they did randomly decide to let someone who was known for serial experience lane. Yeah. Um, well, I feel like it was just the right next step. Because Digimon, you know, season one was pretty. Oh, look at this, this generic character. Um, well, I was going to say, Digimon is, even from the beginning, is kind of not what you expect. I don't know, it's interesting. What is this damage? You just have to win by fight. Yeah, by time. Okay, time up. Uh, previously, Digimon dubs let stuff. Oh yeah, no. Um, the well, cause that was actually a uh, Saban, and real talk, Saban. I think they did a lot of good stuff. Um. The jokes in Digimon and the dubbing in general are so good. Um, like, they can be serious at times, but they can be totally fun at times. So, yeah, that's not a lot of damage. Um, the Almighty Ones have granted you a sword. Yeah, no. Um, I actually did sword like Data Squad too. I know some people really didn't, but I did. I like Marcus. I love the designs of Rise Greymon and Shine Greymon. They are ridiculously cool. Oh yeah, and the music for the dub is so good. I uh, I have all the music on, like, cause uh, before he passed away, God rest his soul. Um, the, the, the musician put up all the music online, to, like, in, in high quality, to listen to in full, and I was just like, I loved it. It's so good. It's so cheesy, but at the same time, it's like, it's good orchestral stuff. It was actually originally used and made for Saban's, um, first attempt at Common Rider adapting for the Western audiences. Masked Rider. Uh, I was used for that, and then they, they reused it for Digimon, where it became more popular. Yeah, the Geogram online is great. Fusion sucks. I liked the original Digimon Cross Wars. But the dub version... Okay, so the only good voice actor in the English dub of Fusion uh, is Ben Diskin as Shoutmon. He does an amazing job. But, uh... Yeah, the rest of that, and I watched, I, I remember, because I watched, I literally, I was so into uh, Cross Wars, when uh, when the episodes would go up, I'd watch them in Japanese first, because I was so into it, and I'm like, I can understand enough, and it was great. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, it was, uh, in English, it's bad. And, 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 like, normally, I'm not one who's like, oh man, censorship of stuff is so bad. SJWs. You know, the kids can understand it. Um, normally I'm like, whatever. But literally, the stuff they did for Cross Wars is so bad and so badly done that it's like, yeah, no. I, I can't even defend that at all. Fusion's bad. Cross Wars is good. Cross Wars, the boy hunters who leapt through time, was really bad. It's really bad. I'm, gonna I'm not gonna do that one. That's not a mandatory path. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and in, uh, Hacker's Memory, Shoutmon and, uh, Omega Shoutmon are gettable, too. That's cool. I like that. They're listed as no level, which is weird, though. I feel like you can pretty much assume what level they are, especially when the Tamers, I mean, uh, uh, the Frontier, you know, um, Warrior Digimon are labeled, you know, with, with an actual label for their level. But no, Shoutmon does not count as a level, I guess. Hey, buddy. 
You wanna stop that, sir? Uh, prefer Dark War Greymon over the regular Greymon. See, I'm a little biased because as a kid I had a uh, Agumon that would digivolve into War Greymon toy uh, that you would like actually transform like a transformer. It was the coolest thing ever, uh, and so I love that. I, I love War Greymon because of that. Um, so you know, it's a little little, little unfair. Digimon in general has just some super dope designs. Is it because Shoutmon fusing with the other things was good? Yeah, well, Shoutmon's weird. Oh, that sucked. Who's ever in charge of Cybersuit didn't want to label them Frontier Champs for ranked in online? Okay, yeah, probably. Makes sense. And they already confirmed they are working on another Digimon um, story game after uh, Cybersuit Hacker's Memory, which is good. Hey, I'm down for that. Come on. Try to get try to get some more uh guard points, whatever. Please stop, sir. Okay, that's enough Digimon talk for now. We'll have a lot to talk about once I get to Cyber Sleuth Hacker's memory, so just you wait on that. I'll talk about whatever you guys want to talk about, though. Get out of here. Yes. What characters do you not- Okay, beat ringouts are the best part of, of Soul Calibur, so you shut your mouth. What characters do I not want to come back in 6? Whew, that's a, that's a tough one. Honestly, mo- Okay. Let's just take a look here. Any characters from this that I distinctly don't want back? Mm, no! Like, honestly... I want all these characters, minus Charade and Necrid and Link, to come back, for sure. Um, let's see here. Oh! Cervantes is great. Um, I want to play Cervantes a bit. He's awesome. Can we get a new weapon for him? Let's see here. And, sure. Yes! Cervantes is hilarious. He's just like Oda Nobunaga with a sword and, and um... Let's see what this one is. Oh, that's good. Yes, that's one I gotta use. Um... Like, pretty much every character... Okay, so... I don't know. I don't know. I'd love for everyone to come back from this. Uh, but yeah, no, Sakura looks great. Sakura looks really good. I'm really excited to see what Sakura is. Is I like that Sakura just has reused Final Smash as a uh, as her critical art, where it's just if you're close, it's Shoryuken. If you're far, it's a Hadouken. I kind of wish other characters had that. It's kind of dope. You know what's the best? Oh, this is ice. Oh, this is the worst. What is this? What is this? This Looney Tunes garbage. <laughs> Band Evo stage. This is hilarious. 
<laughs> Look at this soul caliber on ice. Look, look, like, look how. F <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, it's great. Um, I don't even remember what I was gonna be saying. Random uncle. Okay, no, you know what the best part is? The okay, so uh, the, uh, G, the Uncle Sam character, has like gold on his face, right? And it looks weird. But then if you look at his arm. You see, oh, I think this one is quicksand, but you see, um, the gold on his arm is in, look at this, is in the, um, the gold on his arm is in the shape of, uh, the map of the United States of America. That is so dope. There's a lot of, this is so stupidly wacky. Are you serious? <laughs> Um, I love this. this, is, this is, I, I hope I hope I hope that the, the the story mode or whatever for Soul Calibur is close or six is closer to this than five or yeah five, which was a bit of a train wreck. I don't want really any of the Poochies from five back. I don't. I didn't really love them. I mean, it's it's it, oh, by by timeline reasons they shouldn't be, but <laughs> you okay, man. You okay. Okay, you stopped. Um, I mean, I'm definitely excited for the character creation in um, in the new Soul Calibur. I, I want them to go all out, though. And I definitely prefer character creation to character customization. I think this one has spikes that come up. Um, oh, no, it's lava. That sucks. He has a gold, golden. No, no. So he's. Not, it's not gold encrusted. It's actually. It looks like his skin is peeling away to reveal gold under it. So. No. Yeah. I. Well. Yeah. Viola. Viola was cool, but Viola is actually another character from Soul Calibur in disguise. It's Raphael's lover, Amy. Uh, but then again, Amy used just Raphael's moveset, so yeah, it'd be fine if Amy's brought back with, with, with a young Viola moveset. Then again, Raphael's girlfriend in 4 was like 12 at the time, which was weird. Um, so yeah, definitely fix that, because then, then, yeah, it's weird. Looking at this makes me wonder, uh, do video games nowadays a lot more reluctant for BS? Yes, especially fighting games. There's a lot of people who firmly believe fighting games should be entirely serious. Every stage must be tournament viable. Um, I'm definitely not a fan of what people think fighting games should be nowadays. There, I barely won that. No, we need more wacky stuff, for sure, 100%. Um, he's the most random character you can make. Okay, no, Cody is now the mayor of Metro City, and that's wonderful. And I heard some people say it's because Hagar decided to stay in the Marvel Universe, which would be the funniest and best thing. If a JoJo character would work in a traditional fighting game, have you played the Capcom one? Like the real fighting game? It totally works. It's great. No, I definitely think we need, um, overall for games, just more fun, dumb missions and stuff. That's actually why I 100% prefer Japanese developers to Western ones. And what it comes down to is the fact that Western developers. Oh yeah, no. What? Yeah. Um, wacky single player. It should be single player only. I'm not saying for. for okay, yeah. No, I'm not saying for for actual tournaments and stuff. But um, Japanese developers love to do wacky stuff. Western developers are so scared of. Well, indie developers are just. Indie developers are just Japanese developers living in America. Let's be honest here. Western developers are so scared of what. Their, 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 their player base might think if, if, you know, they decide to do a bit of world breaking. 
and at least articles, you know, is 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 so and so not serious enough. And it's like I hate that, you know. There we go. Um, no, and indie devs, devs know that too. But like, for instance, uh, no, uh, uh, hey, you know, here I go again talking about it. But I was watching a stream today of two of the most stereotypical old school Western game loving streamers who absolutely have no idea what they're doing in games uh, playing Monster Hunter. And little stuff like, oh, you know, the, the cat, when you're in the water, goes into a little boat instead of being, um, instead of being on the water, because cats hate water. Stuff like the run animation being like the wacky Japanese, you know, Jojo running, you know, jo Joseph, uh, 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 Joseph Joestar technique, you know? Uh, stuff like that, like, like the wackiness that is in Monster Hunter. They looked at that and they said, I don't like that. It's, it, it, it ruins the tone. And I'm like, you're playing a video game with cats. They were fine with the cats. But, like, I hate Western game players and their lack of imagination. You know? Um, especially, God, when... Having worked at Bioware, I can tell you there are so many people who are just such... Stick in the mud with fun. You know, one of them said Bayonetta is the is the worst, is, is video, everything wrong with video games, and it's like, because it's not serious enough, you know? Watched over it's, by the almighty ones. it's just, I don't battle. like Fight. Western gamers. I feel like people who only play Western games, who only play AAA games, are ruining the game industry. And thankfully, EA seems to be murdering, uh, EA seems to be murdering Western games. So hey, there's that at least. Um, but... Pay attention to not the chat, but the game. Um, yeah, I don't know. I could rant all day. I could. But hey, at least Japanese games are almost back on top again. I mean, you look at the games of the year and almost all of them are Japanese games because a lot of the Western ones have kind of a few issues with them. And there's, I, and, I, and of course people, whenever I say such sweeping generalizations, people always be like, well, what about this Jap- That was super do dope. Also, that's his daughter. Um, at least, you know, whenever I say that, people always bring up one uh, Western game that does something right and one Japanese game that does something wrong. To which, to which I say, well, yeah. Of course there's going to be outliers, but in general, in terms of how they feel, how they look, how they everything, I much prefer Japanese games. They just, they have fun, but can be serious. Oh god, you know what the worst is? These same streamers, every single time that there is any sort of plot happening in a game that is remotely Japanese, um... For example, they were playing um, Final Fantasy XV. Every time there'd be like plot going down, Noctis gets the phone call from uh, that his dad's dying, and it's right at the beginning of the game. It's not spoilers, you know. Um, every time they're like, "Oh, what is this melodrama?" Uh, and I'm like, "What? What does that mean? Because it's just Japanese. It's a, it's a game that can be both, you know, fun and not, you know. So it's it's melodrama instead of just being, you know, stuff that's happening." It's like, come on, guys. Second favorite game series, Super Robot Wars. I think you mean Super Robot Tyson? Actually, they just announced Super Robot Wars X, which is going to be coming to um, coming to Asia with English subtitles. So that's cool. Gurren Lagann is back for that. So that's good. The Omega Sword and Elk Shield. Okay, the Omega Sword sounds actually important. Oh, no, it's just that one. Okay. Fight. The Last of Us 2 is everything wrong with American developers? Okay, no, real talk. Every single Western game featuring zombies is everything wrong with American developers, period. I don't... I don't understand why we are in the year of our lord, 2017, and there are still zombie games coming out that are the exact same 
I don't care about Days Gone By at all. And every time they're like, it's a brand new way to fight the zombie horde. You can ride a motorcycle, and in this game, it's an open world zombie fighting in loot box experience. And I'm like, I don't care. Actually, it's it, it's hilarious because every <laughs> wow, that should not have hit me. Every time there's a um a stream for um, it's weird how much it sounded like oh, it's some new game they were having. Those oh um. Every time uh, there's like a like a, a Sony stream or a uh, like a game reveal stream, um, I always get invited by my, my good bro Age. Uh, you might know him on the Discord if you're on the Discord, but I know him as Adrian. He's my bro. We always um, we always get to chill out together and we watch him together, and it's great. It's fun. Uh, but it's it always it's it's hilarious because it always turns out to be. Wait, was Sophia not selectable before? That's a bit strange. Oh, because Cassandra was, right? Um, it always turns out to be, I'm excited for every single um, Western or Japanese game, and he's excited for every single Japanese game. And it's just so funny because, like... Wait, what? Where do we go now? Oh, we have to go up. The Altair. Which is funny because now he's... Er, well, yeah. Um, Ten Hammer. What else do we got for, like, Inaburna? Uh, let's get a new blue. Let's get the blue crystal rod for Sophita. That looks ridiculous. Let's use it. Character selects. Blue crystal rod. Recover. Oh, so it's just the cane of burner. Got it. Age's taste is questionable. Okay, so real talk. I don't know if you know this. Before he met me, he did not play Japanese games. Aside from Nintendo. He did not play them. He refused. He thought they were all terrible. And it took me Versus to say, give Final Fantasy XV a try. I know it's Japanese, but you gotta the try it. It took- and he tried it and he loved it. And he's like, oh, wait, did I not switch- oh, interesting. It took that, and then he basically was like, oh my god. This is so much better than the Western games. Is this Japanese game design? I'm like, dude, this is Japanese game design. And he loved it. And then he tried Persona and uh, Persona 5. And he's like, what? why is this so good? Why didn't you tell me about this earlier? Ace Attorney. Never touched Ace Attorney. I introduced it to him and he, he thought it was great. Um, You know, he's like, stop getting me into all these series. And I'm like, there's so many great Japanese games. you got to try them. And so he's getting, he's definitely getting better. Um, it was, it was, it was a bit of, at the time, uh, getting him used to, getting him used to them, but... Get out of here, Kila. But then he tried to get me into Western games, and I'm like, lol, nah, that's not happening. Amer- Only plays Western shooter shooter bangers, yep. Yeah. I'm not gonna say that's what he was at. He, well, no, he did play the Call of Duty. Um, I remember I when when I, when I was going to work at Bioware, I'm like, I'm gonna try out Dragon Age and Mass Effect because you know I should. I didn't like them at all. And so actually, when I worked there, I definitely tried to influence them a bit with Japanese game design. They didn't take super kindly to it at all. Shout out to this outfit being even more revealing in Soul Calibur 6. Me like Elder Scrolls. Nope. I'm like Elder Scrolls. When are you gonna make Age play? Okay, even I am not the biggest fan of Neptunia. I appreciate the Neptunia, what it does, and but it there is definitely levels of jank in Neptunia that I could see some people not loving. Neptunia has its problems. Also, I died and lost like four hours of progress at one point. It wasn't the best, and it was because the enemies just overpowered me. This can't be. Yeah. 
No, it's like, I definitely believe that there's a lot of... Link, shut up. Why? Why would you say that? It's mean. Also, I'm a bunny man. Um, I definitely think there are... To arrange their battle. Senren. Um, I actually had... Actually... Okay, real talk. Um, when Hyrule Warriors was coming out, uh, he was like, Okay, bro, you play these, these Warriors games. You're gonna have to explain to me what's so good about them. So I actually had, uh, I had Adrian play, um, One Piece Pirate Warriors 3, as well as, um, that just went under him. That sucked. As well as Senran Kagura to show him, to show him them. And he was like, you know what? They're good, but boy would I not play these. And I'm like, bro. Can handle a certain level of Japanese games. Okay, no, we're not talking about Minecraft. We're not. We're not talking about Minecraft. Um, this guy is good. This guy. This guy is is pretty wacky Japanese, but kind of, kind of. It, it's it it holds back a little bit. Except in terms of the the, the the level to which the gameplay goes to. We're not talking about Minecraft. I don't get people who play Minecraft, like, for so long. Talim better be back. She is not in Soul Calibur 5 in any way, isn't she? You, uh, Minecraft, you, Tanner, Minecraft is a good time. You've even, oh, I streamed it for a project. I would not play it on my own time. At all. Also, Minecraft makes me sick. Like, actually physically sick. Like, I can't play it. I, there's, there's certain first-person games that I have a legitimate problem with. And that actually makes uh, a lot of Western games a bit of a problem, considering every Western game is pretty much a first-person schlock. Uh, Tillum's like 12 during the part. Okay, but I feel like... I feel like there's a there's a way she'll be in in Soul Calibur 6. Mostly because a 12-year-old a fighter is not that weird. But also for um, the fact that she's too popular. Because I feel like Soul Calibur 6's story is pretty much going to be like... Here's Soul Calibur 1's story with a little bit of 2 thrown in. You know? I won't. I wouldn't even be surprised. Sorry. Sorry. I wouldn't even be surprised if they throw in Soul Edge. I like. I feel like it's just gonna be. Oh, it's defeat yourself. I wouldn't be surprised if they just, you know, make it um, just kind of a mix of everything. Just, just, just make it like, like a, like, like what Mortal Kombat 9 did, where it like is a is a reboot, but kind of respects all the originals. You know. Never understood how people get sick of looking at motion blur. Oh my god, okay, no, actually, real talk. Um, if you have not seen it, Google what, um, Google what the, uh, Final Fantasy Type Zero, or Final Fantasy, yeah, Type Zero, when it first came out, had the HD version. It had literal unplayable amounts of motion blur. Versus... They had to tone it down in a patch. Google it. It is the worst. I cannot believe they decided to release it like that. It's like... It looks bad. Like, you turn the camera and things turn into a big blur. Like, a huge blur. Like, I understand when people are like, you know, like, for instance, like, like Fire Emblem, they're like, I'm not a big fan of, of, of Fire Emblem's, you know, everything. And I'm like, 
that's understandable. But if it comes down to the art style, I don't get it. Whoa! Evil Soul Cal- Oh, wow, what? I gotta use that. I won't try that. I did not expect that. Let's see what else we can get here. Shop. I think we can just buy later on. Just straight up buy. That's the magic sword. I like that design. It's good, good design. Um, you can just straight up buy Soul Calibur later, and it's weird, and Soul Edge. And it's like, why would you have this? Mirror Shield. That's cool. I think it actually does deflect projectiles, but like, though only he has them. So who got it? Who was you who got soul? Yeah. Offensive, but okay, let's 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 try it. Castle of the Dead. Beat enemy within time limit. Do I prefer Tekken or Soul Caliber? Classic Soul Caliber. Modern Tekken. I want Soul Caliber 6 to change that. So this, does this, does this gonna hurt me with every single hit? No, it's just, just when I go into the soul, soul, uh, soul edge mode. Or the... Hey, come over here so I can throw you off, my dude. Or not, that's fine. Tekken soul? Tekken soul does sound cool. Berserker. No. Final battle. Fight. This is probably the best stage, in my opinion. I love it. Like, like the in the castle gate, but there's the bridge over there. It's so good looking. Okay, well, he's powerful. Let's try Link and just button b b b button spam. And by button spam, I mean use like arrows and stuff. Uh, character select, and let's uh, let's give Link a bit of a. Link is the only character with four costumes. He has all the um, good penetrate defense, but weak against impact. Flex attacks. Sure, let's try that. Um. He has the four swords colors, everyone else only has three. Berserker! Berserker. Final battle! Fight! Please stop. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was going a little too well. Hey, I'm a gold apprentice now. I actually kind of want to maybe switch over and play some Soul Calibur 5 to sort of show the, the evolution. What do you think of the Monster Hunter World Beta? I haven't tried it myself. Well, it's over now. You can't try it now. But it is actually amazing. Literally, uh, so it was it was so good, um, and I'm actually like let me play for a little bit because I almost feel like I know at this point like like all my fears are entirely not anything to worry about. It is so good. I just want the full game. I just want it. It's so good. It's so good. Um, but uh, no, I have no issues with. It. I did a stream of a couple missions from it, and pretty much what it came down to is the fact that like. The game just... Everything feels good. 
It's Monster Hunter, but improved in pretty much every way. I heard some people complaining that it's, like, too easy. But, like, that's super wrong. It's not. It's just as diff- It's- It's- Like, like, the things that they changed are not bad at all. Like, like, finding monsters. You now have little bugs to tell you where the monsters are. And that's good. The little bugs are awesome. Um, yeah, okay, let's actually switch over to uh, Soul Calibur 5. Soul Calibur 5. Oh, we don't get to hear much of the announcer in this, actually. Wait, let's go back. Let's actually take a look at some of the bonus stuff first. Some of the bonus stuff is great. Um, plus, oh my god, you guys, my custom characters in Soul Calibur 5 are so good. Oh, I don't have... Wait, here we go. Rec wait, records? No. Unlocked items and features. Oh, I don't have the, um... Have I unlocked all these things? That's a lot, actually. Oh, wait, no. That's because they're not in order. I have not unlocked the, uh, extra modes and stuff. That's fine. Um, okay. So, yeah, let's switch on over to Soul Calibur 5. I need to go grab the disc because I haven't <clears throat> played it in a while. We're going to do some custom matches because my custom... <laughs> Oh, you guys are in for such a treat. You have no idea. Where is my stuff? I'm just going to stop the stream for a second so I can switch over some stuff. So I'll be back momentarily. <laughs> 